Hi guys and girls, Raj here, back with another video. In this video, we will go over your most asked DevOps questions. Uh, so I get a lot of questions in my LinkedIn messaging, uh, my YouTube video comments, as well as the Udemy course messages. Uh, so some of these questions keep on repeating. Uh, so I thought that I'll do a video covering those questions. So what are we going to cover? We're going to cover, uh, do I need to know coding to get a DevOps job? What skills uh, do I need? How is Docker and Kubernetes related to DevOps? Aren't they separate technologies? We'll cover, there are so many DevOps tools. Which one should I learn? This one is super common as well. I don't have any DevOps experience or I'm a fresher, just passed out. Uh, from my college class, how can I get a DevOps job? Does DevOps offer the highest paying job? And also I get this question that how did I uh, learn DevOps and uh, did I have any Linux, Unix or operations background uh, before I had a DevOps job? And where do I learn DevOps and cloud? As always, I have given the timestamps for your viewing convenience. Uh, all right, let's dive in. So question number one, do I need to do coding for DevOps job? So short answer is no. Uh, but when you say coding, uh, people generally think of like traditional coding such as like Java, uh, Node, etc. However, there is another kind of coding with cloud, which is infrastructure as code. Uh, so infrastructure as code uh, can help you provision cloud resources using some kind of scripting language. Uh, so I have uh, separated three different categories here. So one is the must have skills that you need to know for a DevOps job and then highly recommended and then low return. Uh, so for a DevOps job, you need to know infrastructure as code. Uh, so for AWS, if you can learn CloudFormation or you can learn Terraform based on what you want. And then you need to have a basic understanding of the git commands. And after you learn these two things, you should learn at least one DevOps tool. You don't need to know all of this, uh, but at least one should be good. Uh, so for AWS, you can learn AWS code pipeline. For GCP or Azure, you can learn their cloud specific uh, DevOps tools. Uh, you can learn Jenkins or you can learn GitLab. Jenkins is the most popular one. Also, uh, I have a separate Jenkins tutorial series uh, for beginners where I show how to create pipeline, how to deploy applications in Kubernetes, how to install and run Jenkins on Docker container. Uh, so check it out. I'll give the link up top. So these are the must have skills that you need to learn. And then let's go to the highly recommended one, uh, DevOps pipeline. So after you learned all that stuff, you should practice some hands-on stuff on how to deploy a code on virtual machine or how to deploy microservices, and then learn one of the relevant technologies such as virtual machine, container, or serverless. You can pick based on your interest. A container is super hot right now. Uh, so I would recommend if you can and have the time, go ahead and learn container. And then you should go for a cloud certification uh, so if you are trying to be DevOps engineer, DevOps architect, don't do the cloud practitioner one, but you can pick like a, a solutions architect associate, a DevOps pro cert from AWS, a similar DevOps certification from other cloud provider, uh, maybe Jenkins certification, etc. You can pick one, you don't have to do uh, multiple. And the low return is corner case DevOps services, such as Elastic Beanstalk, Ansible, etc. Uh, so if you master the must-haves and highly recommended, they will be enough uh, for you to uh, get the job and get into a project, and then you can learn the other tools, such as Ansible, Chef, Puppet, when you are working in the DevOps project. Okay, next question. How is Docker and Kubernetes related to DevOps? aren't the separate technologies. So you will see a lot of videos, a lot of tutorials on Jenkins with Docker, Jenkins with Kubernetes, etc. Uh, so the thing is, uh, 
you can run Jenkins, like you can grab the installation package, run in your server, you can run Jenkins on EC2. Uh, but the superpower is do of Docker is uh, you can run your code or any package in an isolated way, right? Like uh, you can just grab the Docker container and run it as container. So Jenkins now has a very popular Docker container image and that's what organizations are doing. Uh, they are not installing Jenkins on EC2s and stuff. They are just grabbing the Docker container image and just running it in their server. So that's how Docker, uh, uh, Docker container and Jenkins is related. And Kubernetes, you can run Jenkins on Kubernetes using the same Docker container approach as well as you can use Jenkins to uh, deploy Kubernetes applications. Uh, so now we have Jenkins X, which does a lot of these things, and Kubernetes is super hot right now. So that's how Docker and container is uh, related to DevOps. So many pipeline tools, which one should I learn? So if you have to choose one DevOps tool, uh, you should learn Jenkins. Uh, again, I have a separate Jenkins playlist uh, for beginners going from basics to advanced. Uh, I'll give the link in the description. Uh, feel free to check it out and ask me questions on it. Next question, uh, can you get the DevOps jobs without any experience? The short answer is yes, but you have to put in some work. Uh, so step number one, learn the skills. Uh, so refer to my answer on the question number one, what are some of the must have and highly recommended skills uh, to get a DevOps job. So learn those things practice hands-on, right? Don't just do the theory, uh, implement a uh, pipeline to deploy on Kubernetes, virtual machine, serverless, etc. And importantly, save your work on GitHub, like the Jenkins file that you did, Docker file that you did, uh, all that stuff, save on the GitHub, and then get a certification. Uh, like you don't have to do have multiple, but choose from Jenkins cert, DevOps cert, Terraform cert, etc. based on your interest. And then spruce up your LinkedIn with keywords. Uh, so when you apply for a job in LinkedIn or when recruiters uh, look up your LinkedIn profile, uh, they're not gonna read everything, right? So it is very important that you know how to build a really attractive uh, LinkedIn profile to represent what you learn. So I actually have a separate video on this and I get a lot of questions uh, on this video and a lot of my students actually thank me uh, after they follow it and they actually get a lot of uh, recruiter attention. So I'm going to link to that video up top, uh, take a look and ask me questions uh, if you have any. Next, DevOps job salary, right? But this one is always a little tricky because this uh, salary uh, surveys don't take into account the um, location where you are living. Uh, but anyway, so take that with a grain of salt. Uh, so for DevOps uh, engineer, the average salary in US is around $134,000 or $133,000 per year. In India, uh, the salary is around rupees 20 lakhs per year. Uh, and the US figure is from Glassdoor and the uh, figure in India is from six-figure uh, survey websites. However, like I said, take this with a grain of salt because the salary things are always tricky. But DevOps has high demand and high salary uh, regardless. Next question, how did I get a DevOps job? So I did not have any Linux, Unix, or Git, or operations background, right? Uh, so I learned all the must-have skills. So I learned CloudFormation in depth. I learned Git basic and Jenkins mid-level. Uh, and I did a lot of hands-on. Uh, and what I did was I did hands-on relevant to my company. So what I mean by that is, uh, so this is around like four or five years back. Uh, so at that point, my company was doing uh, deployments on EC2. So I did a lot of hands-on on how to do blue-green canary on EC2, uh, how to deploy on uh, test EC2s, but not on stage EC2s, and how to, let's say you have 10 EC2 servers running and you only want to deploy in three EC2 servers and, and then don't touch the remaining of the seven EC2, how to create groupings. So I did all that in my hands-on 
and I saved all that in the internal uh, company uh, bit bucket. So when I did all that, then I applied, started applying internal uh, projects uh, that were looking for DevOps and cloud uh, engineers. And then I showed all the stuff I did from that bit, bit bucket uh, repository during my interview. So similarly, when you save all your work in GitHub, and if you work externally, you can explain all that, and that actually carries a lot of weight. Next question, where can you learn uh, DevOps and cloud? Easy answer, follow my channel, uh, help this channel grow. And also, I think this is a good opportunity to plug in my courses. Uh, I also have courses on Udemy. Uh, if you are looking to learn container and Kubernetes from basic using Amazon EKS, uh, look up my course in Rocking Kubernetes with Amazon EKS, Fargate and DevOps in, in Udemy. Uh, it is currently highest rated uh, with some good feedback. You can also learn infrastructure as code such as CloudFormation uh, as well in the Udemy uh, as well as the serverless. But if you, if you already have other courses or don't need any courses from me, that, that's fine as well. I love you guys and girls regardless. But all right, those are the most common DevOps questions that you ask. If you have other questions, uh, or have a comment regarding what I described, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I'll go and answer it. All right, guys and girls, that's the video. Uh, if you like this video, if you found this video helpful, uh, please click that like button, smash it. If that's something you are into, subscribe. Me and my puppy will really appreciate it. Uh, we are trying to reach that magical 10,000 subscriber milestone. Uh, so, all right, uh, that's it for this time. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.